What's going on everybody? Bones here with Cajun Our New Barbecue. Today it's all about prime rib. That's because Christmas is coming. And well, that's one of the major stars that a lot of people go with for Christmas. The other one is ham. I chose to go with prime rib. So, today, we're going to do it the traditional route. I do have another prime rib video that's floating out there. And well, I chose to go a different route with the seasoning. Some people liked it, some people not so much. Got one dude that's trolling me on Newsbreak right now. He doesn't like any of my videos, but hey, he likes to watch them. So I thanked him for watching them anyway. But anyway, today, my spices are gonna come from Uncle Steve's shakes. We're gonna use up his smoke bomb. It gives it a nice smoky flavor to it. A lot of hickory powder, a lot of nice smoke flavor to it. And we're going to use up his competition cow powder. It's going to have a lot of salt, pepper, coarse black pepper, some garlic, paprika, a lot of nice seasoning. So stick around. We're going to get right to it. And time to go ahead and start up. We've got our nice prime rib right here. It's a two boner. Don't need a big one over here. We only need one just for me and the kiddo. Not too many mouths to feed. So we're going to go ahead and begin. First, we're going to hit it up with a smoke bomb. As you can see with this prime rib, the butcher already put on that butcher twine to keep that bone on. So we're going to go ahead and hit up that smoke bomb. Just a nice little light coating. If you want to go ahead and put on some Worcestershire sauce as your binder, be my guest. I'm going to go ahead and leave it dry. Now we're going to go ahead and put on some of that competition cow powder. As you can see over here, it's got nice coarse black pepper, some coarse salt. We're going to go ahead and let this sweat in while we get our grill up the temp. Still want to go ahead and get some on that bone side here. Go ahead and get it all over here. Go ahead and pat it on in. Get all this nice goodness that's on your pan. Now we're going to let that sweat in like I said. And prep it out. We will be using the mini meat stick. We, I will show you this, but I'll have to take it out and put it back in when we get ready. You want to insert the mini meat stick all the way in and then get it ready and put it onto the app when it's time. But like I said, we will put it back in when it's time to go. All right, we're, today we're using the Oklahoma Joe Bronco. I've got the grill up the temp. We're looking at about 200 and 40, 250 degrees. Got our meat stick in. Go ahead and shut the lid. And we've hit temp. We've hit a nice 125. We're going to go ahead and pull it off now. Going to let it rest. And we're done. It's a little cold out here right now. We're 37 degrees. Yeah, fun times. But anyway, we looking real good. We're gonna go ahead and cut off these strings. It's smelling oh so good. Get these strings out of here. Gonna go ahead and put it over here on my pan so I don't get accused of anything again by somebody. Cut off these bones and turn it to the camera. Go ahead and cut it into it. Oh yeah, nice medium rare. Oh yeah. Go ahead and cut off a little bitty slice. Here we go. Pretty 
perfect. Nice spice, nice pepper bite to it, nice saltiness, just melt in your mouth. I don't know if you could see all the steam and the just coming out of me, but oh so good. Perfect. If you like what I'm doing, you know what to do. I know you're not supposed to talk with food in your mouth, but in this case, I don't care. Thank you for watching.